Hey everybody, this is Jeff, the Tropical Garden Guy. Welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to do a quick update on this coffee tree that I had promised everybody since last year that I was going to do an update and well, I just got kind of busy on different things. Um, but yeah, it uh, I did a video when this guy was small. I bought it as a small four inch pot at a the local supermarket. You can find them. And if you take a look at these leaves, you can see these, the leaves are usually pretty much smaller and you can buy it for a couple bucks, but believe it or not, you can grow coffee here in Northern California, zone 9B. And they do, the trees do work good as a summer outdoor plant and an indoor winter plant as they are a little sensitive to the cold. This guy has been outside all year and we hit 28 degrees, but uh, the, the key to it is to keep them close to the house. I have them in a pot, as you can see right here. I have it in a pot and um, during the winter cold, I'll push it up close to the house so that it doesn't get the full brunt of our winters. 32 degrees or below out in the open will kill these things. So you got to be careful. Um, but yeah, it, let's take a quick look at it. Um, as you can see, it's in the stage of flowering and setting fruit. I can't tell if it's focusing. There we go. We got some flowers here, flower buds, and we've got some little fruitlets that are, that will produce berries right here. Now, one of the keys to growing these guys is number one, I grow them in a container because they like a slightly acidic soil, a little bit less acid than the blueberries. So if you can grow blueberries in a, um, in a container, usually that'll do okay. Regular potting soil will do okay. Um, but I like to use this guy over here, the, the miracle grow uh, moisture control, not the one that you get at Costco. That thing's junk. It's just made out of municipal um, garden waste. This guy has cocoa core and all that stuff. That's a that's my go-to for short-term potting mixes. But back to the coffee tree. Let's take a gander at how big this guy is. This guy is only a little bit older than a year old, and it's in a pot, um, as I mentioned. But so. What you want to do is you want to slowly grow it out like any other plant. I give the uh, put a little bit of sulfur in the soil to kind of bump up the uh, bump down the pH. Uh, like I said, they like a, a pH of probably six point five, and our most soil and our water is above seven. So you um, you want to fertilize it. They do like fertilizer. Um, regular f uh, applications of fertilizer. I use Hollytone Organic Fertilizer. It's very mellow. But as you can see, uh, I wanted to kind of push it along. And uh, I put about hmm, probably, in this guy, probably about three tablespoons of Hollytone. And, and it immediately responded with new growth. Beautiful tree, very beautiful. It can be grown as an outdoor summer, indoor uh, during the winter. Uh, they just need a little extra light, but uh, you could have them close to a, a bright, bright sunshine window through the window in say a living room or something like that. And it'll probably do okay. You just want to cut back on the watering. But uh, this guy, I pushed it over when it when a cold came i pushed it uh, away from the open air farther back into the uh, back part of my uh, patio area and it just just fine and we hit 28 degrees so i will be doing uh, uh, uh more updates as the berries get bigger but i just wanted to show you guys that yeah you can grow coffee in california i'm not sure why people there's a few growers that grow organic coffee in Southern California, but you know, we can grow it here in Northern California too, even in the San Joaquin Valley where it's pretty darn hot during the summertime. You just have to have it summer. Uh, you have to have it in the uh, afternoons. You have to have it shaded, but in the, in the morning such as this, it just does just fine.
My name is Jeff. If you like this channel, make sure to click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. You have a wonderful day.